so today we will see about the trans pulmonary pressure so what is this trans pulmonary pressure generally the trans pulmonary pressure is the pressure difference between the intra alveolar and the intra pleural pressure so we'll write it down the pressure difference between the intra alveolar is the pressure difference between the intra alveolar and the intra pleural pressure so in order to know deeply about the trans pulmonary pressure we should know what the intra alveolar and the intra pleural pressure means so first we look about the intra pleural pressure so intra pleural pressure The intrapleural pressure is the pressure which is existing inside the pleural cavity. So the pleural cavity just surrounds the lung. So this is the pleural cavity. So we see the lungs here. So we see the lungs here. And this is the pleural cavity just here. So we have the visceral pleura here and the parietal pleura which surrounds the outer surface of the lungs and the visceral which is inside and between these two spaces is the intra pleural cavity and the pressure which resides inside this intra pleural cavity is called as the intra pleural pressure and inside this cavity is a fluid which is the intra pleural fluid so we'll write down what the intra pleural pressure means it is the pressure existing inside the pleural cavity that is between the parietal and the visceral pleura which surrounds the lungs which is exactly this region where i'm sharing it with red so what is the importance of this intrapleural cavity so first we will know how the intrapleural pressure changes according to our respiratory cycle. So now we will talk about the pressure. So we should know that the normal pressure for the atmospheric air, I will simply write air, the normal pressure for the atmospheric air is around 760 mm mercury. And now speaking about the intrapleural pressure, normally under the physiological condition that is Under normal physiological conditions, so under normal condition, the intrapleural pressure is always negative when compared to the atmospheric air pressure. So, under normal conditions, the intrapleural pressure, right, the intrapleural pressure is always lesser than the normal atmospheric pressure that is lesser than 760 for example at the end of the normal respiration at the end of the normal respiration the pressure inside the pleural cavity is around 754 mmhg mercury so so looking at the pressure difference, the normal atmospheric air pressure is 760 and during the normal respiration, the pressure inside the intrapleural, that is the pleural cavity is around 754 and when you look that it has a negative percentage when we compare to the atmospheric air, around minus 6. So generally the intrapleural pressure is always negative. So this is one fact that you should know. And the main reason for this intrapleural pressure is the pumping of the intrapleural fluid inside the pleural cavity. So the movement of the pleural cavity which resides inside the pleural, uh, I'm sorry, the movement of the pleural fluid inside the pleural cavity 
is the main reason for this intrapleural pressure. And normally the intrapleural pressure is negative when we have pathological conditions for example when we have a pneumothorax when a patient is suffering from pneumothorax the intrapleural pressure tends to be positive so under the pathological conditions The patient may experience an intrapleural pressure which denotes a positive in number. And what is the importance of this intrapleural pressure? So its significance. The significance of this intrapleural pressure is it prevents the collapsing tendency of the lung. and it also helps in the venous return venous return so the venous return is the blood that moves from the lower extremity towards the heart that is the sucking action of the thorax due to this negative pressure it helps in the sucking action of the thorax that is the movement of the blood from the lower extremity against the gravity the blood comes towards the heart so this pressure also helps in the venous return